Hey everyone, welcome back. For a few years now, I've been looking for a way to go paperless with my note taking, both for the environmental benefits, but also just to generally declutter. I've tried out a lot of tablet based apps, and while I've grown fond of a few of them, at the end of the day, I wasn't able to find anything that quite matched the feel of pen on paper. When I started my most recent fellowship six months ago, I knew that I was going to have to start taking a lot of loose form notes. I once again started looking for alternatives to traditional paper notebooks. This is when I started using Rocketbook's Everlast series. These polyester composite page books are a different approach to digital note taking. You write as you would with a traditional pen and paper, scan and upload the note using the Rocketbook app once you're done, then erase the page using a damp cloth and it's ready for reuse. Mobile app scanners have been around for a while now, but the Rocketbook system is a little different, with a clear focus on simplifying repeated use. The high contrast border surrounding each page speeds up page identification during scanning, while a QR code and symbol-based page footer work to automatically store the scanned document in one of seven predefined cloud locations corresponding to which symbol is marked off. The Rocketbook app doesn't have the best contrast enhancement that I've seen in a mobile scanner, but it's pretty good and something that could be improved over time. One of the catches with using the Everlast notebooks is that you can only use the Pilot Flexion pens. These erasable ballpoint pens are widely available in many colors and sizes and have an almost gel-like feel to them when used with the polyester composite pages of the Everlast notebooks. This isn't exactly the traditional paper feel that I was initially hoping for, but I got used to it pretty quick and found that writing on a little more of an angle helped me to regain the traditional paper feel. The one thing I will say is that the Friction Pen's traditional erasability has a poor consequence on the Everlast pages. After using the standard Friction Eraser on the polyester pages, you can't write over that area very well until you wipe it down again. Currently an Everlast notebook will cost you between $16 and $32 depending on whether you want the standard letter, executive, or mini flip style binding. Not bad at all considering it may be the last notebook you buy. Regardless of which you choose, the pages are spirally bound between two durable covers, allowing you to easily switch between one and two page writing styles. This is great if you need to adapt to small tables in a classroom or cafe, but I do find that the binding is a little oversized for how many pages there are. Again, not a big deal for most, but if you're a lefty, you may find this problematic. In place of a traditional letter lined page, the Everlast notebooks use a narrower faded dot pattern. Writing long notes using this layout takes a little getting used to, but it's a fair trade considering just how easy it is to sketch out well-proportioned geometric shapes or graphs. Another cool feature of the Everlast notebooks is the use of optical character recognition to make your handwritten notes searchable within the Rocketbook app. Obviously this depends on how neat your printed lettering is, and it also only works if you have the files saved as JPEGs instead of PDFs, but it's a neat feature that was only released in the last year, perhaps signaling that there's more to come. I usually save notes as combined PDFs, so I don't use this feature often. However, if you nest a title between double hash marks at the beginning of a document, the app will use this as the title of the file when saving it. A small but effective time saver, and something that I use all of the time. The only real issue that I found with the Everlast notebooks was the amount of time it took for the ink to dry. It only takes about 15 seconds, but if you're left handed, or you need to flip the page over quickly, you're going to have to be on smudge alert. To deal with this, I started beginning my notes on the left hand page first, then opening the notebook completely to move to the second page in the hopes that I wouldn't have to flip the page over and smudge out what I just wrote. Finally, one thing that I think is poorly advertised about the Everlast series is its versatility. Each book is between 32 and 48 pages, which may not seem like a lot, but as long as you stay on top of your scanning, it's probably way more than you'll ever need. So if you're looking to make your notebook truly unique, you can use a fine tip permanent marker to create your own custom templates. I did this to create a weekly planner layout where I can erase each day independently without removing the agenda's divisions. This way, it's not just a notebook, but also an agenda. I highly recommend doing this, but make sure that you plan your template on another page first using an erasable pen ahead of time so that you don't make mistakes when you're using the permanent marker. Overall, I recommend these notebooks. They're a great way to cut down on the clutter of paper notes, and they strike a nice balance between technology and the traditional writing experience. If you like this video, please let me know using a comment below, hitting the like button, or subscribing. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.